Monday world. here just to give you that warmth and also give you the drive of 10 minutes into the world of entertainment just for you to get updated. The name, I be the show, showbiz now. No Ghanaian artist is talented than me, Adam Brax. Mr. Lecky on the beat. Special delivery. Go get it. I've been on the road for the longest time. But nothing ain't happened. Would it wrong my life? Put it wrong my life And it's ever has around There's ever people they do First of all, artist Denning Adam Potter, known in showbiz circles as Adam, has stated that there is no Ghanaian artist who can do what he does when it comes to music and talent. Well, in an interview when he was asked why he keeps trying his hands on different journeys, he explained that he is not just trying his hands on different journeys, but rather doing what he is capable of doing. Now, I quote, I'm not trying to move. I'm doing what I'm capable of. Every other artist who is a rapper and could sing will do like Adam, but they can't. That's why they don't do it. And I can I, I can do that. That is why I am doing it, Adam said. Well, Adam went on to reveal that no Ghanaian rapper can sing and no dancehall artist can rap like he's been doing. And I quote this, so it's not about me, me moving. It's the fact that I can do it and I'm capable and I am that talented. No dancehall artist can rap better than I do. That is why I did go harder and no rap rapper can sing better than I do that's why I did ghetto art ghetto arise so it's a fact that the talent is on the level that is all I'm exhibiting and he added to that so that is Adam for you if you think you're a rapper who can do dance or can sing or a dance all act who can rap well so he's throwing the challenge out there and I can't collaborate with Patapa so Ghanaian hip hop artist Crazy Slay, who is recently uh, is out with well, let's check this video. When I come, I'll let you in on all what is going on there. So that is Chris Slay you're seeing that and he recently released his LP a Bing and he was on Hit FM's morning show that is Daybreak Hit in an interview with the host Andy Dusty the rapper said he can never collaborate with Patapa because he can't drive on a track beat and their styles are different. Oh, we are quite different people. If if only he can ride on a on a trap beats. Ebiana beats neighbor be a better day or a boom boom. Well, that was Crazy Slay. And let's check out what is happening on the international front and basketball coach has been charged or after he allegedly punched a man well assistant basketball coach from wake forest university was arrested and charged in connection with the death of a florida tourist who he allegedly punched in the face sending him smashing into the pavement well jamil jones who is 35 was arrested on the charge with a third degree assault in the death of sandor zabo who is 35 well, zabo originally from boca ranton in florida was in new york city for his sister's well that is a stepsister's wedding when he tried to hail a uber back to the hotel on sunday well he allegedly knocked on the suv jones was driving and uh, the action spread into a confrontation between the two of them in which jones allegedly punched Sabo and in his face and then once causing the tourist to fall on the pavement and hit his head well the New York Police Department at least confirmed that to people's news in a release on Thursday well Jones fled the scene and Zabo was taken to a nearby hospital in a critical condition but unfortunately he did not survive well that is rather an unfortunate news and let's go on Donald Trump furious after more NFL players take a knee <laughs> well Donald Trump is really pissed at 
two Miami Dolphins receivers who continued to take a knee demonstration in the 2018 NFL season and now he is calling for them to be suspended. Well, both Kenny Stiller and Albert Wilson took a knee during the national anthem at the Miami, Miami Dolphins preseason open versus the Tampa Bay Bucks on Thursday, while other players raised their fist. Trump tweeted, the NFL players are at it again, taking a knee when they should be standing proudly for the national anthem. Well, that is what Trump said, and numerous of numerous players from different teams wanted to show their outreach as something that most of them are unable to define. They make a fortune by doing what they love. Be happy, be cool. A football game that fans are paying so much money to come and watch and enjoy is no place for a protest. That's what Trump is saying. Most of them, most of that money goes into the players anyways. Find another way to protest. Stand proudly for your national anthem or be suspended without pay. On the other hand, well, the players were praised by Colin Kaepernick who started the demonstration. He offered the following messages to his players. He says, stay strong brothers. Yes, that is what Colin is telling them. Now let's get into box office and today we are taking a look at 10 brands owned by actors and making it to number 10 is Kate Hudson whose company is net worth at 38 million US dollars and the company is Flabble Sticks. for her ton physique actress Kate Hudson is also Theo co-founder for the sportswear and health lifestyle brand Fable Stakes. According to Forbes, Fable Stakes grew to 250 million businesses in three years. Wow! Well, making it to number nine is Ryan Gosling, whose company is net worth at 60 million. Well, the company name is Tangent Restaurant. Well, Ryan uh, opened the Moroccan Tagging restaurant in Beverly Hills in 2004 alongside his friend and head chef Ben, who has shared his cooking with Gosling and co worker Chris and Gould. Well, according to the restaurant's website, Gosling claimed that Ben's cooking was the food I want to eat for the rest of my life. Well, that is Ryan Gosling at number nine. And then number eight, we have Melissa McCartney, who is a net worth of a 60 million US dollars company is seven. Well, Melissa McCartney debuted her first collection as part of the fashion line with HSN and also sold at retail across the country. Her positioning is a body positive line that does not call out plus sizes. So she's imbibing the plus size alongside the, you know, the chisel nature. And that is it. So making it into number seven, we have Ryan Reynolds, net worth $75 million company Aviation Gen. In the long and in no way, dis I mean, disastrous marriage of the showbiz and alcohol, so happy to announce I am the proud owner of Gin Company. <laughs> Ryan joked about announcing that he had acquired an, I mean, an ownership interest in Aviation Gin. Aviation is the best tasting gin in the world. Once I tried it, I knew I wanted to get involved with the company in a big way, he said in a press release. Well, that is just about what we'll close down on today's bulletin, but make sure that 12 o'clock you're getting on hooked. My brother, KMG, he's going to be giving you 30 minutes long of entertainment and you should get in tune with it. Many thanks going out to Mizan Hardman and also you for indulging me for 10 minutes on your TV screen. Still, Joy Prime, still, we are giving you real entertainment.